beautiful sketches. Welcome to another insightful episode of Soulful Sketches, where we explore the profound narratives of the Bible to extract wisdom for our spiritual growth. In today's episode, we dig into the legacy of faith as exemplified by Seth and the importance of passing on a spiritual heritage to future generations. Our journey today leads us to Genesis chapter 4, verse 25 and 26, and 5, verse 3, where we read, And Adam knew his wife again, and she bore a son and called his name Seth, for she said, God has appointed for me another offspring instead of Abel, for Cain killed him. To Seth also a son was born, and he called his name Enosh. At that time, people began to call upon the name of the Lord. When Adam had lived 130 years, he fathered a son in his own likeness after his image and named him Seth. In recent years, discovering family trees has grown in popularity. People want to know where they come from to help them understand who they are. In many ways, DNA tells us who we are and where we come from. In this Ancestry.com commercial, Kyle learns the heritage of a DNA and it changes how he sees himself and what he does in the future. He even changes his style of dress from lederhosen to kills. See, the third son of Adam and Eve holds a unique place in the biblical narrative. He emerged as a significant figure in the aftermath of a tragedy, marking a new beginning in parenting for the first couple. His lineage would eventually include notable individuals like Enoch, Methuselah and Noah who played pivotal roles in biblical history. Even Jesus himself is linked to the line of Seth. The birth of Seth was a response to the tragic events surrounding his family. After Cain killed Abel, Seth would become a kind of replacement son for Adam and Eve. His birth symbolized a fresh start in parenting offering hope after one son lay in the ground and another was estranged from his family. Seth's life spans 912 years and it's possible that his multiple great-grandson, Noah, knew him. While little is known about Seth's personal story, the details of his family lineage were crucial to the larger narrative. It's easy to imagine that Seth took the knowledge of God he received from his parents and intentionally passed it along. Seth's role underscores a profound truth. The transmission of faith is intentional and has a lasting impact on generations to come. Whether you grew up in a Christian home or not, the legacy of faith you leave can shape the future. If you are blessed to have a Christian upbringing, use your knowledge to continue impacting your family for Jesus. If your upbringing was different, seize the opportunity to share what you're learning about Jesus now, initiating a transformation that will influence future generations. Seed's legacy reminds us that God's promises and faithfulness are passed down through generations. His lineage played a crucial role in the fulfillment of God's plan to defeat the serpent through the coming Messiah. Just as Seth's family testified about God to each other, we too can testify to the faithfulness of our Creator, ensuring that true piety enters the world. In conclusion, Seth's story encourages us to be intentional about sharing our faith and to recognize the profound impact it can have on our families and communities. Just as Seth's descendants eventually defeated the serpent through faith in Christ, we too can conquer the challenges of our time through faith in Jesus, the ultimate seed of promise. A time for self-reflection. As we consider Seth's legacy, let us reflect on our own role in passing the torch of faith. 1. Reflect on your own spiritual heritage. What have you inherited from your family or spiritual mentors? Second, consider the role you play in passing on your faith to others, especially to the next generation. Third, evaluate whether your faith is intentional and purposeful, and whether it's making a positive impact 
on those around you. A prayer for you today. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the example of Seth, who intentionally passed on his faith to future generations. Help us to be faithful stewards of the spiritual heritage we have received and to share the light of your truth with others. May our lives be a testament to your grace and love. Amen. As we conclude this episode, let us remember that our faith has the power to shape not only our own lives, but also the lives of those who come after us. May we be inspired by Seth's legacy to continue impacting our families and communities for Jesus. Stay tuned for more enriching episodes of Soulful Sketches, where we explore the timeless wisdom of the Bible for our spiritual growth. God bless you.